Hi everyone, my name is Tim Jasper. I'm a musical director and a composer, and I'm going to be doing a warm up video with you today um, to help you during this time of lockdown. So, first off, I'd like to do a breathing exercise. I would do this normally lying down with my classes um, and using gravity as a bit of resistance, um, but we can do it standing up or sitting down or whatever you feel is comfortable, um, as long as you're doing it correctly. So, what we do is we breathe into the stomach, controlling those muscles and keeping the breath controlled and quiet. We don't want any. Any of that, okay? So what I would do is I'd breathe in for four and then release it for eight beats on a S, on a S, okay? So breathing in for four. One, two, three. In for four again. Out on a Z. Z two, three, four, five, six, and in for four. Out on a S. Three. Four, five, six, in for four. On a V. Three, four, five, six, in for four again. On a sh. One, two, three, four, five, six, in again for four. On a J, on a J. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's the end of that one. So I would always do that and make sure there's no tension down the sides between your hips and your ribs. You want to be loose um, and breathing in a good, good, healthy way. So for the next exercise, we're going to do some pulses on a Z first and then a J. And what we want is the sound to be continuous. So when we're pulsing and pushing that volume up and down, we don't want the sound to break when it comes back down. That's always the hard bit to control. So on a Z first, um, do it with me if you want or at your own speed, your own pitch. There's no, you know, doesn't matter for now. Okay, so, on a Z. And on a J, on a Z sound, okay? Okay, that's the pulses. So when you do these exercises, keep the rib cage expanded at all times and try and time it so that you're using the full lung capacity by the end of the phrase. You wanna use all the air, but just time it nicely. So you don't run out too soon and don't have some left to give. You wanna just try and keep the whole body refreshing each time. That's a so good next way. Next, I'm gonna do a quick uh, massage of the face and we're gonna start off with just the jaw area first. So just give it a light rub, just to get some blood moving a little bit. And you can do it hard if you want, just don't hurt yourself. Let's be sensible in this lockdown. Good, and then we can move it down to the chin area and your lower lip. So just give it a little rub, get the blood flowing. And into your actual lips. Good, and then we're gonna move down to the root of the tongue, just under here, so you can use your thumb. Yeah. That's the one people miss a lot, so just keep always, you know, come back to that one, even if you're having lunch. I always do that, I just sit there going, mm. <laughs> and then uh, let's do one more, let's go to the neck, back of the neck, I love this one, and then we move that up to the back of the ears, which is another area that people don't tend to think of, but it's just good to engage all these muscles that are all connected, remember this is all muscles that's connected, it's not in isolation. So next we've got a lip trill, everyone's favourite, uh, this one, it's really important to not start on a plosive, you don't want to start on a b, on a brrrr, and become aggressive, you want it to, the air to flow, and your lips just to relax and gradually join in when they're ready, okay? Um, so not an aggressive start, just a, a loosey-goosey, okay? So breathing in. I always cover my mouth, I don't want to spray everything. Okay, and then I'm going to do it on a siren. I always do a siren with my singers on the lip trill. So starting on a B flat. Let's go up an octave maybe and just on the lip trill, keep, keep it consistent. You want a consistent flow there. Okay, so ready? So two, three, as many as you want. Just keep that consistent air. Um, remember, it's not a competition. It's about keeping vocally healthy. That's the important thing. So next we're going to do some vowel circles. Uh, the five vowels we're going to do are E, A, R, O, U. 
and you connect them together so it should feel like a bit of a circle going on. Um, we'll start on D flat, um, just on an E, A, O, I'm gonna go fairly slow, okay? Three, four. Yeah, so we're still warming up. Um, sometimes you've got a quick warm up, it's okay to start going a bit faster. But as we've got all the time in the world in lockdown, let's really take it slowly. Let's get those voices um, really warmed up thoroughly and safely. Next thing's a bit trickier. Um, it's also a bit trickier to demonstrate with my hands in the way. So we're going to do the same vowel circle, the E A R O U, but we're going to hold our lips out and just change the vowels without the lips changing shape. So they should be nothing to do with the vowel sound, okay? So you just grab your lips. I can't really show, and um, pull them out, and then just on any pitch, we're going to go E A O. Okay, ready? E A O. Okay, let's try that again. E A O. And it's it's easier to keep your lips loose rather than tight when they're pulled out. So you just change the vowel with the inside of your mouth. Tricky, we'll give it a go. So, so using the same vowels, the same five vowels, we're gonna do some descending um, little scales, only five, four, three, two, one. Um, on me, me, ma, mo, mu. Um, so let's start here. Two, three, four. start to vocalize a bit more um so we're going to do some ooze uh, we're starting on a b flat and we're going to try and hold it for 12 beats and then have four beats to breathe in now a lot of my casts tend to breathe in and gasp before the next note despite me telling them every time so try not to go ooh, <gasps> ooh and gasp you want to take the time to breathe in if you've got a song with time in it or in your warm-ups really practice you know filling in and getting that deep breath um, the gasping will happen anyway. You can practice gasping, but you can do it anyway. So just practice taking a good breath, a good controlled breath in, and then um, doing the 12 beats of an ooh. So here's a B flat, and here's three, four in. Ready, three.
Some of you may have spotted the little John Williams reference that I put in that last one of the uh, theme of Jurassic Park. This next one's got the theme of E.T. as its basis, which is... Um, so we're going to do that on R. And it's just to start moving the voice now. Let's get a few more pictures going on. And here we go then. One, two, three, four. this one it makes me feel quite uplifted um and it goes i'll sing it first for you and then we'll have a go at it so it goes <laughs> and it's only tricky because it's a major third every time but you want to keep that third bright never let it sink um especially when it gets to the more rapid interval changes um and you want it in one breath a lot of the casts tend to be lazy and go ah, 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 ah. so we don't want that we want one big breath one big phrase okay here we go one two three going to introduce the huh sound every time you make a huh at the start of these words can you make sure you're having a little kick with your diaphragm you should see the little pop as you huh and give it a little kick okay the tune is this okay just on a ha for now i'll shout out new ones as we go through the exercise but ha for the first two okay two, three.
next exercise is a gorgeous melody um, and I use it to practice pacing the breath so you've got this overarching phrase as you sing this whole beautiful tune in one breath, okay? It's tempting to put a little breath in the middle where the note um, is held for a bit longer. Um, avoid temptation. Let's go for the big one breath. Um, I'll teach you the tune. It's all on R and then I'll have a go. Okay, the tune is this. practice getting that long breath everyone take it high feel free um yeah it's a catchy tune this next one i always do with every single cast um i love this one it's just fun um sometimes i get them to choose their own consonants but it's just to get the lips now working a bit more um so it's just a simple exercise of i'm going to do it on different consonants i'll shout them out between each phrase um the first one's b so that would go and you've got to just work hard. We don't want to hear um, things getting slower or dragged or pushing ahead. Just try and keep in time, but try and give clear consonants. Um, so the first one's B. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Next one, um, I was taught by a man called Simon Fiddler, who's an excellent choir master for a choir called Voices of Hope that won the European Choir of the Year competition. Um, it's a great exercise based on the arpeggio. Well, you could say dominant seventh as well. Um, and it's just, it's really good. I'll teach you it quickly. And there's three parts to it. The first part goes like this. Let me do it again, but staccato. So, so the warm-up is all three of those in a row, which goes like this.
staccato one, you want to try and catch the breath. Imagine it's a moving train and it's not ah, 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 it's ah, 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 ah. So as if the sound is continuing, but you're just putting the little gaps in between, okay? And give some shape to that, uh, the smooth one. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, here we go. Let's see. one is one that Professor Valerie Reed taught me from English National Opera when she taught me singing um, and it's based on E and R goes up the scale and down the scale I'll just sing it once for you it goes e Where it's tempting, you'll feel where it's tempting, um, try and avoid temptation. Motto of the day. Here we go. Three, four. And then I always end with a couple of fun ones. Um, it's always good to keep the atmosphere in the room good. And it definitely applies now in lockdown. So a bit of fun, um, hopefully, to keep you happy and motivated. So it's a tongue twister, and I'm notoriously bad at tongue twisters. So this one, uh, the words are Irish wristwatch, fresh, flat fish, okay? Irish wristwatch, fresh, flat fish, okay? And it's just up the scale and down again. Um, so we'll go. Irish wristwatch, fresh flat fish. Irish wristwatch, fresh flat fish. Okay, up and down, okay? And a T on flat. That's the one that people miss out, okay? And wrist. Irish wristwatch. Here we go. Two, three, four. Irish wristwatch, fresh flat
just to experiment with different types of voice and um, we're going to sing a chorus of Somewhere Over the Rainbow the first time. We're just going to sing it normally and then I'll try and tell you what we do before we, each chorus we do, okay? So the first one just as normal. Enjoy it. Last one, I need you up on your feet. Um, in this lockdown time, it's important to keep physically healthy as well as vocally healthy. And this one's got the lightest of exercises alongside it. Okay, the tune is the Grand Old Duke of York. Um, I feel old because a lot of my youth classes don't know this song. And I thought everyone knew this song. So I have to now teach this song as part of my warm up. Um, but hopefully you all know it. Um, if you don't, you'll soon catch on. Um, let's have a sing of it just to make sure. One, two, three. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 2,000. Marched them up to the top of the hill, they marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Easy peasy. Okay, so now on the word up, I just want you to clap your hands, okay? That's all you need to do on the word up, clap your hands, not on the word down. One, two, three, oh, the man, don't you keep your. So clap on up, stamp on down. I was stamping, but you can't see that because it's under the camera. Oh, one, two, three, oh, the grand old Duke of York. Good. On the word up, can you clap and jump in the air? And on the word down, can you stomp and lunge forward? One, two, three. Stomp and lunge, and on the word clap, there isn't a word. On the word up, can you clap and jump? One, two, three. Sweet. I hope you've enjoyed this warm up, um, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Have a great lockdown.